And fourth time's the charm. Okay, let's do this again. Uh, hello everyone, good evening. Today's tutorial is uh, going to be answering a request on the GDevelop forums, but also a YouTube comment on one of my videos asking about cameras and behaviors. And what the user is requesting here is a camera which doesn't actually follow the player usually until they're very close to the edge of the screen and then it follows them. Here to explain uh, the end result is Zachary. Uh, so you've got your average character and you'll find that the screen isn't as you saw it there But it, it doesn't react to the player moving the, the camera isn't reacting the camera placement isn't reacting to the player moving until it reaches the end of the screen um, a certain distance from the end of the screen and then it starts um, Moving as you can see and it works with jumping As well, it's like it's not it's not only in the, uh, on the ground and yeah, it's done by comparing two x values two x values x values of um, position. Well, close enough. Um, so you'll see here in the main, in the example, um, did I say the thing? I think I forgot to say the thing. Oh uh, yeah, as always you'll see in the description below a link to the releases where you can download the latest version. So you'll see that there is a scene called main, two functions, and three objects. Floor, player, and screen tracker. Um, and let's just break the magic and explain how it works. So. At the beginning of the game, um, the camera is focused on the player and we create this screen tracker object sitting on the player. And what we're doing is we're comparing the x value of the screen tracker and the player. And if it goes past a certain number, in our case 200, um, the player's, the screen ob tracker object starts moving towards the player and the camera follows the screen tracker. Um, for example, if I just jump in the gun a little, if I change the number to uh, 50, yeah 50 will do, um, you'll see that the, the camera will start moving after a much shorter time and you get like a much more responsive camera feel. Um, whereas if I moved it to like 350, the player will basically be off the screen before, um, or almost off the screen before the camera starts reacting. So let's dive into how this works. Um, uh, at the beginning of the game, at the beginning of the scene, uh, we center the camera's X position on the player we create a screen track object at the position of the player, and then we hide it. Animate the player is just a shorthand for the way I, I've been going about uh, doing player animations and just separating it out. Nothing magical going on there, just sort of run, idle, flip left, flip right. And then we come to the most interesting one. Move the camera when player moves 200 pixels away from the screen tracker. So this is what you'll find inside of the player animate, uh, sorry, not player animation, camera movement behavior. And it's a single function. It is an action and that takes three properties, obviously reference, the reference object, which is the, what is gonna be the center of the screen. In our case, it's the black box called screen tracker, um, the player and lag distance, which is a number for how far the player should get before uh, the camera starts moving. Let's start just taking a one half at a time because the second the second one is uh, equal and opposite. So this condition fires um, player when so player x minus reference x works out the difference between the box and the player. And if it is greater than lag distance in our case two hundred, we want to start moving the camera. The first thing that happens here is we change the x position of an object, and what we're doing is we're moving our reference object towards the player. Now, instead of just jumping it, um, the, the position we're moving it to is this. Uh, so we're moving it to player x minus our lag distance. And the reason for that is um, we, always, we just want the, this is how we get our behavior where the camera doesn't follow the player when they're sort of in between, in the bounds, but as soon as they go outside, well, the camera follows. The reason why we're lerping is because uh, simply, if we wanted to, we could simply set it as uh, player x and um, this distance, this value. However, what you would get is a much less forgiving. Um, is it this way? Hmm. That's going right. Yes. Yeah. We well, guess you don't get it's. It simply goes and it simply stops. What the value of uh, being able to? Oh no. It didn't work. Oh wait, it did work, we're good. Um, the value of adding a lerp in, and what lerp stands for is linear interpolation. And what that does is it smooths it out. And so it adds a bit of bounce to the camera movement that, 
we Zachary and I played with a couple of numbers and we thought 0 0.25 added to a real nice one. And so what Lerp does is it starts at this number, moves to this number, and um, this is the number between 0 and 1, where 0 is it never, it's always at the beginning, 1 is it's always at the end, and anywhere in between it slowly or quickly moves along. So for example, if we set this to 0 0.75, you would see that the camera uh, moves very, very quickly. Whereas if we set it to like 0 0.1, 0 .1, uh, it has a really long bounce to it. So you see that it really glides along. And just for our sake, we, we found 0 0.25 to be a nice number. The last thing that we do is we um, put the camera, camera X position on our new reference object. And so too for over here. If our player goes too far to the left of our reference object, we lerp it, um, we lerp it in this direction, and then we center the camera on it. This is pretty much it. Um, this is how you uh, can deal with camera and stuff, um, camera and behaviors. The reason why we use this reference object, probably should have explained this at the beginning. Um, hey, look, you do these things four times and there's still things that you forget to explain. Uh, is because we couldn't find an easy way just to get the value of the, the position of the camera. It turns out um, we just struggled to do that. So we needed this object that would act as the center of our screen and we could drag it along and center the camera on it. Hope this has been useful. As always, please uh, feel free to comment and give thoughts, suggestions and feedback. We love reading all of them and um, you know helping out where we can. And if you have thoughts and questions for future videos, things you'd like to see, please throw it out there. Anyway, it's been me, Joshua. Zachary. Hey, you did this. And uh, we'll see you at the next one.